Hey y'all, let's go on ahead and just empty the clip. So we got lots of leaks today, or not today, but lots of leaks came out within like the past like day or two. So jumping right on into it, um, this is a leak of one of I think the new from from the Forever Brats line of of course Jade, Sasha, Chloe, and Yasmin. This is obviously Sasha. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I saw this photo on my timeline, and I thought someone had just restyled like like a gcds sasha or something like i didn't even think anything of it and so when my sister at dolly comics shout out to you um sent this picture to me saying that this was the leak for one of the forever brats i was like oh <laughs> oh now let me say this i'm over like the whole oh brass like really not kind of looking the same or giving the same because this is a new era this is a new generation you know there's a lot of collectors who used to collect back in the day or played with brass dolls back in the day and then just new incoming collectors that are trying to embrace what brass has been putting out so far this year so personally i feel like the doll is pretty in the face but it just isn't giving sasha not even the outfit um the but the doll is still very pretty in the face um i don't know i could have a difference of opinion because like i said don't always go based off leaks sometimes um but i'm not just like oh my god wow they ate that like oh my god no like i just you know I don't know. She doesn't really look like a Brad doll to me. Like, she's a Brad doll, of course, but it just is given very much new age, you know? So, um, but I would love to know y'all's thoughts on her and if you're excited for her or whatnot. And who knows? Like I said, there could be a different tone. Like, I just would love to see this doll in person. But as of right now, I'm just not wowed. And I actually also thought that the Forever Brad dolls would end up looking like how they do in the TikTok series, even though they're wearing recycled outfits from back then. I just really thought that um, that was how they were going to look. Let me know if you thought the same. Okay, so next we have Miss Caddy Noir, her G3 version. Let me start off with what I like. Actually, I'm going to start off with what I've heard. I've heard a lot of hell no's. I've heard a lot of um I've heard a lot of hell no's. I've heard a lot of this what y'all wanted, right? And I've heard some oh my god, love her. So, um I'm going to start off what I like. I think her face is very cute. Um and she's very reminiscent of her G1 self, which some Monster High fans, especially maybe those of both generations or maybe just of g3 in a way whatever like um but those who do still like g1 of course um look for g1 qualities in g3 and i do think that she still executes that now for those who are like this what y'all wanted right as far as body inclusivity i'm going to continue to give mattel or monster high the crown with body type inclusivity on dolls because this is representative of, you know, a body type that some people would like to see on a doll because they want to see themselves as that if they are that body type. You know what I mean? Because as y'all can see, she is, well, she looks um, curvy, way curvier, maybe more on the plus size side um, in comparison to the curviest, uh, which are Jackie Laura and Abby from G3. So... They're still pretty spot on with this. Like, if you wanted this or if you asked for this, like, yeah, they pretty much delivered in the way that um, one would have maybe thought they wouldn't see or whatnot. Now, they do this with the Barbies, of course. But, shoot, I think they even really just kind of went a little bit more full-fledged with um, making her more of a plus-size doll. Now... I will say I don't think the outfit is flattering at all. And the restyle um, the restyle aspect of her might be a challenge because like we've seen for all these years, most of our dolls are like slim, skinny, or like thick. And so 
I'm interested in seeing what the restyle factor will be like when some people get her and make do what it do. Because you can make do what it do, okay? Like, you can. Um, uh, I will say, I don't think Caddy should have had this body type. Don't ask me my reason. I just, for some reason, it just wasn't given that. Like, I just felt like, when looking at her, I was just like, this is, you know, maybe they should have done a different character or something. Like, apparently, some people say that they spotted Iris in this G3 series, and she is more plus size. So, it's like, why not, why don't y'all just make Iris, Iris a doll, whatever. But, nonetheless, um, I can't say if I'm going to get her or not. I do think, like I said, the face is very pretty. I do like the pink and black. I've always really liked that about Caddy's dolls. But, um... I would just have to see this in person, you know, give her a try. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to just leave it at that. Tell. What is this? I'm sorry. What is this? I hate this doll. I hate the new doll so much. Nina Smith Flytrap was so pretty in her original iteration. Her artwork was gorgeous. I just, this new one just looks nothing like her. And that's what I dislike about it. it Okay, and now to talk about my favorite, the one I'm most definitely going to spend my good old $25, dollars on. So, from this video I came across on TikTok, um, obviously, this person, I don't want to disrespect their pronoun, should they go by something other than she, her, or they, them, um, but this person, of course, expressed how they hate this new design. Now, I've learned that... <coughs> For those that have grown up with G1, there's a lot of things they don't like about G3 being that it doesn't translate to G1 for some. Um, but let me say this, y'all. It's very interesting when people say, like, their opinions on a doll versus, like, how it looks, how the doll looks. I actually think Venus definitely still encaps encapsulate, encapsulates the essence of her G1 self. It's just... Obviously, this is G3. This is a different version. And this is a black queen. I don't care what y'all say. This doll is definitely black coated from the twists, the baby hairs, the nose, the facial features. Like, this is a black coated doll. And I wouldn't be shocked if her voice actress ended up, or voice actor, whatever, ended up being a person of color that happened to be black. Now, of course, sometimes with non POC collectors, from the POV of a POC collector, it is interesting hearing like how much one might hate a doll when it's representative of somebody of color, specifically somebody black or just whatever, or just a POC person in general. Um, because the tone, you know, it's one thing to say, yeah, you just don't like the doll, you don't like the redesign, which is what that person seemed to have said. But when you go all in into like, I hate the hair, I hate her face and all that, there's just tones, there's undertones to that. That's like, it sounds like you might just not like her because she looks a little bit more black girl-ish, right? So, um, yeah, and that's just something POC collectors, like we see it, we know, when we know when we're hearing those kind of undertones from our uh, non-POC counterparts when they talk about these dolls. I mean, prime example would be like somebody like seeing Halle Bailey's dolls, right? She's the she's Ariel. And like what we've heard from the discourse with that um, or what have you. So, um, yeah, it's just interesting, you know, like hearing that because at the end of the day, we're all entitled to our opinions. If you hate a doll and how it looks and all that, you have every right to feel that way. But um, it's just the hope that you just really don't like it because it is like a redesign issue or the color schemes off or you don't like the outfit and hopefully not something based upon this doll looking representative of somebody of POC. Because obviously, Venus McFly trap monsters don't exist. So when these designers, especially with G3, are trying to translate the looks of these dolls into something different, 
they also got to go based off of what they see, what type of people they see. Uh, I'm going to just say right now, twists and baby hairs didn't just get pulled out the ass of the sky. That got pulled from black women and such and certain facial features. So, yeah, but either way, I think Venus is a 10 out of 10. I will be getting her and I would like to know y'all's thoughts as well on her. Now, let's make sure we're respectful in the comments. If you want to empty the clip and cross that line, go for it. Like, girl, this is the internet. It's never that serious at the end of the day. But um, I would like for y'all to be respectful to each other in the comments and people's difference of opinion because there's some strong opinions going on right now based off of these G these specific G3 dolls. I'm not even talking about the redo of like the core dolls or even Spectre's doll. I don't give a fuck about Spectre's doll. I really don't. But like um just around specifically like Caddy and Venus, like that divide in opinion is deep. So I would like to know what are y'all's thoughts? But Anyways, thank y'all so much for um, watching. And again, chit-chat with me in the comments. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, booze.